Do you know what electrical tape is, how it's made and how it works? Hey, engineering fans, have you thought about it? How something as simple as electrical tape is essential for the safety and functioning of practically everything around us. This black colored or even white tape that we find in electrical installations, automobiles and electronics. Behind this discrete role, there is fascinating engineering, decades of evolution and a science that prevents accidents and keeps energy flowing. But after all, what is electrical tape? Basically, electrical tape is an adhesive material designed to block the flow of electric current. It acts as a physical barrier between energized conductors and the environment, preventing shocks, short circuits and failures in electrical systems. Besides its primary function of insulation, it also protects wires against moisture, abrasion, chemicals and temperature variations. It's not just for electricians, it's found in cell phones, computers, cars and spacecraft. But how did it all start? The history of electrical tape dates back to the early 20th century, when increasing electrification required practical solutions to insulate connections. Before that, people used cloth tape soaked in bitumen or varnish. But these materials were not very flexible and would lose adhesion with heat. The revolution came in 1946, when the company 3M, or Minnesota Mining and Manufacturing, developed the first polyvinyl chloride electrical tape. The big innovation was combining polyvinyl chloride, or polyvinyl chloride with synthetic rubber adhesive, creating a product that was elastic, durable and had excellent insulation. The tape gained popularity during World War II when it was used for quick repairs on military equipment and it has never lost its place since then. But how is it made? The manufacturing process is a precise dance between chemistry and engineering. It all starts with the base material, usually polyvinyl chloride chosen for its flexibility, durability and high electrical resistance. The polyvinyl chloride is transformed into a thin and uniform film. Next, this film goes through a bath of plasticizers, which ensure elasticity and adaptability to extreme temperatures, from minus 18 degrees Celsius to 80 degrees Celsius on average. Then, synthetic rubber adhesive is applied, such as styrene butadiene rubber or styrene-based butadiene rubber. On one side of the film, this adhesive is modified with resins that ensure instant adhesion even on irregular surfaces. Finally, the tape is varnished to resist moisture and ultraviolet rays and wound into rolls like this. An interesting fact is that the most common color, black, comes from carbon pigments, which provide additional heat resistance. But how does it actually work? The magic lies in the combination of dielectric and mechanical properties. Polyvinyl chloride, for example, has a dielectric strength of up to 600 volts per mil of thickness. It blocks standard electrical currents of 127 or 220 volts. When you wrap the tape around an exposed wire, as the name suggests, it insulates, meaning it forms a non-conductive layer that prevents the flow of electrons. But it also protects, sealing the area against water, dust and chemicals. It also reinforces because with its adhesion to the conductors, it ends up compacting and reducing vibrations that could wear out the connection. The efficiency depends on the thickness and the quality of the application. An overlap of 50 to 70% in the wraps is essential to create a continuous barrier. But there's a catch, because electrical tape isn't everlasting. Over time, excessive heat, sun exposure or solvents can degrade the adhesive or the polyvinyl chloride, reducing its effectiveness. If you've ever replaced electrical tape on old wiring, you might notice that either the adhesive gets sticky on your hands or the tape becomes stiff and starts falling apart. But not all electrical tape is the same. The thing is, not every electrical tape is identical and each type is designed to meet specific challenges. The polyvinyl chloride or vinyl type is the most common, ideal for low and medium voltage up to 600 volts. You can find it in other colors besides black, which is used for coating wires with red or green color. But we also have rubber ones, which are applied by stretching to form a second skin on splices and it is already used in high voltage cables and substations. In addition to these, we have the varnished cambric tape, made of cotton fabric impregnated with varnish, and it can withstand up to 105 degrees Celsius, 
and is common in electric motors. We also have the mastic tape, which has a layer of sealant, like butyl, that completely seals against moisture. And it is perfect for underground or outdoor installations. The polytetrafluoroethylene, or Teflon tape, can withstand temperatures of up to 200 degrees Celsius and harsh chemicals, and it is used in aerospace and chemical industries. And we also have fiberglass tape, which turns out to be quite resistant to breaking and can withstand extreme temperatures. So, electrical tape is the type of insulating tape. The polyvinyl chloride one is used for all types of insulation. Polyvinyl chloride electrical tape is used for all insulation purposes. Electrical tape comes in various types, with polyvinyl chloride being the most common. Polyvinyl chloride electrical tape is an all-purpose insulator. Complex electrical tape in minimal spaces and in civil construction protects connections in humid environments. Now, if you understood the importance of electrical tape for electrical safety, what's the point of insulating a wire if the entire installation was poorly planned? A lot of people still ignore the most critical stage of a construction or renovation, the electrical project. But the electrical project determines energy circulation, load point locations, how to prevent overloads, and most importantly, how to lower accident risks like short circuits and fires. But getting back to the subject, electrical tape continues to evolve. Well, today, flame retardant electrical tapes with fire resistant adhesives are mandatory in airplanes and data centers. Meanwhile, the heat shrink versions combine insulation with mechanical fastening. And sustainability has come into play, where brands like 3M and Heleman Titan already produce tapes with recycled polyvinyl chloride and flame retardant adhesives. The future will be about the search for smarter and more eco-friendly materials. Research is exploring tapes with integrated sensors that detect overheating or graphene nanocomposites for greater thermal conductivity. In addition, plant-derived biopolymers can replace polyvinyl chloride, reducing environmental impact. And it doesn't stop. Where? With electric cars and renewable energy, tapes for high-voltage batteries, up to 1000 volts, are rapidly evolving. Electrical tape is much more than just a quick fix. It's a product that was born out of the need for safety, evolved with material chemistry, and today is a key part of the technology that moves the world. Whether it's on the pole on your street, in your headphones, or at a space station, it's at work. Silently to make sure energy reaches you without risks. If you've made it this far and enjoyed the video, take the opportunity to subscribe if you haven't already, leave your like, and turn on notifications. And if you find our content interesting, consider becoming a member to help us keep producing content here on the platform and to be remembered in our videos. And if you're curious to learn more about the courses we recommend, scan the QR code here on the side or check the link in the video description. To have access to various opportunities to develop several skills that will make a difference in your career. So, do you have electrical tape at home? Did you know there are several types? Leave a comment below, I want to know. Right here on the side, there are two interesting video options that you need to watch to expand your knowledge and explore your curiosity. If you'd like to support us, please like, subscribe, turn on notifications and consider joining as a member. That's it, engineering lovers. A big hug and I'll see you in the next video.